December 10th here at Brown's Gym uh, training for the Arnold this morning is deadlift training uh, it's about 5 35 in the morning and uh, we're gonna get inside because it's pretty cold out all right here we go all right all done with mobility work uh, like I said earlier this is a deadlift day um, so what I'm doing this training cycle normally I'm a sumo deadlift and a sumo is with your feet out wide and you grab with your hands in. Uh, that's been my normal competition deadlift. Uh, I think consistently since 2002. Uh, in the past, I've done the conventional pulling competitions where I was a lighter body weight. Um, this training cycle, I am going conventional. Um, and actually, the, most of this training cycle I'm doing uh, at today, I'm doing a conventional deadlift which means your feet are inside of your hands and your hands are grabbing. So essentially, it's what the old, old school deadlift. Um, I don't have a big discrepancy between my pulls the last time I did it. Um, it seemed like I had, if I get my groove right in the sumo, I finish it better. But the problem I've had with the, the sumo deadlift is there's a lot, of room, a lot more room for air. Um, if you don't get it exactly right, there's a lot more room for error and it's a lot more technical. Conventional pool, I don't feel it is as technical as, as, as the sumo. Um, regardless, I'm training for the Arnold, getting ready, um, gonna pull, pull conventional. Um, my plan right now is to pull conventional all the way through. Um, Today, I'm gonna to pull conventional, but I'm gonna pull conventional and, and switch my grip. The normal, by the way, this is my Under Armour mouth guard I wear for all my lifts, so I don't grind or crack my teeth. Plus, it helps with performance and recovery. If you're ever interested in Under Armour website, check it out, off of usapowerlifting.com. Anyway, so normally you'd grab one hand like this, one hand like this. My Usually, my left hand is my underhand, and my right hand is my overhand. Um, I'm switching it, which will be really weird. It'll feel really weird. The reason why I'm switching it up, um, I'm 38, and things start to fall apart, or if you keep working the same way all the time, uh, it could catch up with you. And what I've seen is if you keep working and don't switch up your grip now and again, uh, on the heavy sets, I'll go back to my normal grip, but if you don't work the other, switch it around your increase of risk for bicep tendon tears uh, goes up because you're working the same bicep tendon area, working the same groove, and it's essentially weakening the other side. So by switching it up, it's making it a little harder of a workout. Plus, it allows you uh, to try to even out your tendon strength. Now, can you still get a bicep tendon tear? Absolutely. Uh, a lot of the guys who've gotten the bicep tendon tears have gone to a double overhand hook grip. Um, which is a, a fabulous grip if you can deal with the pain of, of putting a bar on your thumb. Uh, it's it's uh, more of a painful deadlift to do. Uh, so that's what we're going to try today. Um, the first couple sets, or uh, three, four, five sets, um, I'm going to I'm going to do with the, the flip grip. I'm going to go as long as I can with the flip grip, which is not going to feel comfortable for me. But probably by the end. I might have to switch back because I plan on going to upper 400s, maybe five. All right, here we go. I'm not going to show every set on the film, but I'm starting with 135 and I jump probably 90 pounds a set. Uh, and then when I get heavier, I jump about 50 pounds a set. All right. Reviewed the video on it after every every set. I'm trying to get my hips down a little bit, straighten my back out. Um, definitely an ugly conventional bullet. 
Uh, you're supposed to try to get, I mean, conventional is harder to get your back straight. Um, but uh, I'm really making it look ugly, uh, a sport on the deadlift. I'm going to keep working on it. One of my apprehensions in the deadlift is last time I conventional and deadlifted in training in August 2012, leading up to the 2012 Worlds in Puerto Rico. Um, one of the early sets, I, I dropped my hips real low and I tore my tore my, uh, groin muscle. I actually heard the fabric. It was like a fabric tear, uh, but it didn't feel like a fabric tear. And that took... Uh, Took out about four weeks of training with a lot of physical therapy. Um, so that's in my head a little bit. I'm definitely not dropping my hips anywhere near where I was trying to drop it. Uh, but I need to get them down a little bit lower. But that's a, a thought in my head right now. Uh, this is my first, it's only my second workout doing the conventional. And uh, I need to get it, my hips down before I pull or get my back right work on the double chin, but uh, it's in my head of uh, tearing, my, tearing my groin. Uh, whenever you tear a muscle, I mean, it happens. You get injuries. I mean, I've, I've torn my groin where I hurt it, and I've torn my pec where I hurt it. Micro tears. It's not even the full tear, uh, but it sticks in your head for a little while, plus you've got some scar tissue and things like that you got to deal with. I'm good with the scar tissue because uh, it's been a full year of mobility, really working the heck out of it, using the cross ball and using every every trick I could find to work through it. Uh, but it's still there mentally that I this movement has hurt me before and set me back. So uh, it's one of those things you just got to get over it. <laughs> it doesn't completely go away, but... Uh, if you, if you get enough reps under you, then you can build up the confidence. So I'm going to just work on the reps and build up the confidence and work on lowering my hips over the next few weeks. All right? That concludes my 
work out here on December 10th. Uh, starting to snow here in Clark Summit, Pennsylvania. Um, didn't get the accessory work I wanted to do today. Uh, I needed to speed it up. I guess I took a long, maybe this filming kind of threw me back. I don't know. Uh, normally I'd want to do two or three accessories afterwards. Uh, I did pretty good work doing the uh, conventional pulls. Uh, worked a bit heavier than I did last week going 495. And on the last set, I was able to do a set of five. Still working the technique. I thought by the end, my hips started going down a little better. Uh, I don't know if you saw it in the video, but my hips, I was able to squat down. And the thing is, I'm trying to squat down and build up enough tension that the bar comes off the floor naturally. Um, so where I'm not actually trying to pull off the floor, I'm actually pulling down and back, and then the bar should come off the floor automatically. So that's the, th the thought process of what I'm trying to do. Uh, so that concludes today's workout. Uh, come back again uh, next, I mean Thursday I do my, today's Tuesday I'm doing deadlift. On Thursday I'm going to do some bench. And then Friday I do my squats. So I'll see you later. Come on.